kitchen. Well, ain't that a kick in the baby maker? You figured out who I am. The home! The super high school level serial killer! Genocider Show! Toko Fukawa is just a craptastic name I was born with. <laughs> Not enough these days, if you know what I mean. Why, you volunteering? What would that be? Fukawa did not want anyone to discover her bloodthirsty alter ego. It was her secret. A secret worth killing for. Not a bad theory. And kind of clever for a dude. Too bad it's totally wrong, Blondie. I'm actually innocent for a change. Told you I didn't do it this time. Suck it, Sherlock! <coughs> Buy this bastard a clue, huh? I take pride in what I do, which means I'm a stickler for the details! She's right! Why go with blunt force trauma when I can just grab some skizzers and paint the town red? And the crucifixion didn't match Show's M.O. either. Give the kid a cigar! I use scissors on my trophies so I can stick them right to the wall. Don't want them crumpled in a heap when the cops find them. What's the one thing all my victims have had in common? Damn, this kid is on fire! Yep, I only cut up the guys who get me going in the Southern Hemisphere if you catch my drift. Oh, I mentioned my naughty bits, how terribly horribly unladylike of me! Ah, shut your whole ass face! <laughs> to my style, even if it means I gotta blow my damn cover! Dun, dun, dun! I where the hell those come from? I got more of them on me if anyone wants to go treasure hunting! <laughs> That's your proof? I gotta wonder, what if the killer switched the contents of the locker rooms to throw us off the trail? Caesar's ghost! Mm -hmm. Our Fujisaki was a boy. <laughs> So he was cross-dressing, huh? Oh, that's so hard. I wish I had killed him. Tell if I'm not mistaken. So in other words, the killer has to be a guy? Yes, but isn't using another student's device in direct violation of the school rules? The rule in question prohibits the looks. It says nothing about taking them. Celestia, didn't you say that you saw Fujisaki on the night he died? Indeed. He was headed somewhere. It seems you've dug your- Oh, he's innocent! Why are you all trying to frame him? We have to be sure. <laughs> Mondo, <laughs> what are you saying? Hey, Monokuma. Please! Save your no! Believe it or not, my ragtag bunch of character tropes, the vote wasn't unanimous. It and why'd you do something so- Towards. I feel like I'm on a roll here with all this juicy exposition. Let's traipse down memory lane some more. This time, we'll check out Awada's big bad secret. You know, the one he max wrapped Fujisaki to keep hidden? Promise me, as a man, such a weakling. Because he was brave. <laughs> now, listening to Ishimaru's heart wrenching screams, I realize how powerless we all are. Since when's it our job to watch him? Is something the matter? What happened to you? I can't believe it! Jesse's Robo attacked me! Oh. Hardly the time to be cute. He's not being cute, trust me. Is that a camera? Oh. Fine. The rest of us will split into teams. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? And I can't! The murderer! Ha! And anyone who breaks the rules gets pureed! Just for confirmation, can we assume this wasn't your handiwork? Oh, I wouldn't have done something like this! My taste in prey is way too particular, Sugar Lips! All right, then. Let's hot. find the body. Ooh. Ah! Uh. Nayagi... Top... <laughs> bam, 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 bam! Double corpse alert, Chippenies! <laughs> Stop me if you've heard this one! Investigation, then trial! Oh, great round. Thanks for the buzzkill. I'm in no mood to be delicate. I've wasted enough mental energy on this farce as it is. Yasuhiro, odd final words. No, it's quite telling. That's Hagakure's first name. Very well, I'll sum up. Hagakure dons a ridiculous costume, attacks you. Only the actual killer is eligible to graduate. Unless she herself struck these fellas down. The girl gets a great big old goose egg! Yeah, sure. You guys search for clues, I'll try to find the others. Well, we're all waiting for an explanation. Out with it! This is no time to play coy! Why are we here? This. 
Oh, it is officially not my... Put himself in a locker. Oh, little help, please. Next time, choose a costume that bends at the waist. Word to the oh, wise. Cardinal rule of cosplay, make sure you can still go to the can. Easy. When I woke up, I'd been crammed into this thing. Very interesting. Show us the note. Yeah, no problem. I think I stuck it in my pocket. Um... Oh, whatever! Stop playing us! Just admit you're the culprit already! Excuse me? The hell are you talking about? Managed to scrounge up a handful of possible clues? Not that they make much sense. The thing that puzzles me most was Yamada saying Hagakure's first name as he died. Someone's number! Shut your lie, hole, murderer! It can't be established beyond a reasonable doubt that he wrote those blueprints himself. He likely changed styles to cover his tracks. My writing's barely legible as it is! He doesn't bend it the way. I see. So Hagakure was indeed subdued and stuffed into the outfit as he maintains. Ergo, not our culprit. Nayaki, bro, thanks! I owe you Kids thanks! regular Sam Spade! Hold on a sec. What? Well, a gal the size of an ogre would be! Yeah, but the ogre was on the second floor at the time, wasn't he? Uh -huh. But that would mean he would have been alive the entire time. No, I'm afraid that doesn't make a lick of sense. What precisely contradicts my fear? Sounds like Tubby McFatass got kind of overzealous applying the realism rouge! Ha! What a rube! And no one saw him while he was on the move. Now that I consider it, you're doing a You didn't drown the vision! Yes, yes, whatever. Thankfully, I didn't have to dig very deep. Any tiny whities! Clearly, Yamada wasn't just an unfortunate victim in all this. Accomplice. But accomplices don't graduate, do they? No. Who's the <gasps> doity double dealer who persuaded our favorite basement dweller to have- Dang it now! Yep, sucks when you got nothing else to go on. Well, let me think. What was it? I believe something like we'll be picked off one by one. They were, if my memory serves. Is that what you meant? The jig is up. And you've lost. Monokuma, sir. May we get this over with, please? Girls, lock in your vote! Hey, Taiko Yasuhiro! <sighs> what manner of woman does that to a man? <laughs> and fat ass actually went along with it? Now tell Tits McGee here to take a powder. Cause if she doesn't, I'm liable to sniff those sweater puppies clean off her torso! And that'll just be foreplay! <laughs> Asahina! Uh, what if she's faking? Well, ain't this a kick in the dick? Uh, uh, those three. Ha <laughs> Miss me, bitches! So, this might come as a shock to you, but I don't know jack about what Fukawa did or didn't do. Even if I gave a damn, I ain't got access. I'm catching up on my beauty sleep when suddenly someone's shaking me awake. Maybe it's Prince Charming, I think, so I'm ready for action. Instead, I get nightmare fuel straight out of an Italian slasher flick. <laughs> Madame Roy Rage freaks the crap out of me. I hit her with a bottle and GTFO. Hey, she finally got hit on. Oh, man, what a relief. So glad I'm not hogging. Dude, show some respect for the Enough dead. Enough stalling. Let's put it to a vote already. Huh? The same place where Fukawa tagged out. I dropped that beast at the magazine rack. I'm lost. Jeannie Simmons here still did it, though, right? No, you schmuck. Where I whacked her and where she landed don't match up. How dumb are you? Ah! What the hell are you thinking? <laughs> Holy crap, I've hit the jackpot. You're crazier than I no barf it up! Be quiet! Togami. I'd like to look at that if you don't mind. All you have to do is take a jump. The poison in the protein drink. That chair was wedged in there pretty tight. So how did you brace the door with it from out in the hall? In fact, you're the one who gave it to me. Am I? And then later, slipped back into the game room and planted that cup like it had been there the whole time, never even thinking about the glass. All of that just to throw us off the trail. Here's how things might have gone. Ogami asked Hak- It's my fault, damn it! It was me! <laughs> Asahina, please just stop, okay? You're innocent. And you deserve to burn in hell! Oh, I 
awesome. I'm out too. I only played because he was. <laughs> We've lost him again. Yuck, 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 yuck! I crushed his candy ass! Get it? Nah, whatever. <laughs> uh, uh, you better not be making eyes at my man, fun bags. What? I am not interested in that douchey four-eyed bomb! Oh, so now you insult him? Just, Just like that, the man. trials came to an end. Are you baiting a serial killer? <laughs> that was fast. Yeah, she's jealous at her show. Hi, doll. It's your friendly neighborhood serial killer. <laughs> I told you to bring back a Matic. Mm, Matt, who's it? Should I know him? Gotcha. You sent my lamer half to get a Matic. Explains why I was in the garden, I guess. Hey, one mystery solved. Now we can nail down that other one. Mm -hmm. And what mystery would that be? Why, someone's pushing up daisies in the azaleas! <laughs> Dude, I can't even tell if it's a girl or a guy. Don't be an idiot. It's a girl. You can see her chest and tell by her frame. It's most likely Kirigiri. <laughs> Let's look! I'm gonna pull up the mask! <laughs> That's a bad idea! For all Hello, we know, it's... nurse! <laughs> Warning. Oh no. Are you all right, Fukawa? Yeah! <laughs> Genocide or show, boss? Sorry, guess you could say I was out cold for a bit, literally. I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess you don't know why you're here. Beats me! It's a mystery! At least we have a full disclosure policy. It's the best way to be schizoid. Uh <laughs> this is what triggered my lamer half's feigning spell. Ikusama was flame broiled to perfection, huh? Like she didn't already look like a freaking pincushion. Moving right along. <laughs> My pookie. Tell me where he is or die. I'm not sure. He's probably investigating. Why'd I bother asking you? No one knows Master Togami like I do. <laughs> Every one of you is in bed with the mastermind. I have proof. In fact, you think so. Ah! At least we have a full disclosure policy. It's the best way to be schizoid. But a boom! Sorry for the delay, I'm all yours! This is vitally important, so no straying from the point, understand? I want you to look at the video feed and tell me whether the footage brings anything to mind. Uh, video feed? Whoa, who's that? Ah, nice to meet ya. Focus, Daddy. The footage, if you please. Yeah, okay, fine. It's true, I've seen it all. You remember what it was like? Uh, how do I ever? I sort of keep to a strict don't ask, don't tell policy. Keeps me out of undue trouble. Uh, sweetheart, please calm down. You know what did this, surely. The worstest, most despair-inducing event in the history of mankind. Nature's fury vented itself on humanity with impunity. We're talking the most horrific, blood-spattered, end-of-times madness ever. The world that remained turned into what you see here, almost overnight. <laughs> the end. Hey, just telling you what I know, hippie. You want answers? Miss Raincloud over there saw the whole shebang in real time. Give her the third degree. What? No, what do you mean a year ago? That doesn't make any sense, even for you. Or has it been erased? But two whole years of our lives gone. Which means the people we thought were perfect strangers were in reality our friends. Hope's Peak High School was hardly immune to the fallout. We knew what we had from the very start. Even before we infiltrated Hope's Peak, everything pointed to the plan going flawlessly. Just alive so you could get your rocks off! The outside world, I'm sorry to say, still touts a handful of people ridiculous enough to hold out for a better life. I've taken it upon myself to disabuse them of what hope they have left, to give them, as it were, perspective. <laughs> to solve the puzzle with the reality of your situation be- <laughs> I thought I was tasteless! So here's the deal! You little sugar gliders will represent hope! represent despair. The vote works as it always does. Someone's getting KO'd. If even one of you votes hope down, <laughs> I win another as one big happy dead family! <sighs> Hell, don't knock, at least we'd still have lives. If hope gets voted in the night! <laughs> uh, anyone? <laughs> Wait, Apira? 
terrifier will seize up and you'll be forced to leave. I have mentioned the outside world is a nightmare of contamination and death, right? <laughs> Nice try. Come on. Uh, that's not where hope is! But you won't truly... What would Sakura say? If she were here right now? What... That's so hot! That's it just it for me, my gallant darling! Where you go, I go! That's the spirit... Where you go thinking I'm all noble? I could go either way! Uh, as long as it's the fun way! Uh, <laughs> and besides, wherever my sweet Togami goes, I will follow <laughs> Kiri, please. I know how important your father was to you, believe me. This is what he wanted. Read between the lines. He had a vision. He had hope for us all. He wanted us to have a future. Even when your luck is at its lowest ebb, when all seems lost. <gasps> That's all she wrote. So much for despair. Spouting off, rallying the troops, staring me down. <laughs> Junko and Oshima, I'd say you're defeated. Wow. She's taking it awful well. Tell us, madam, how does it feel to be hoisted by your own petard? All that ingenious plotting, and this is what it comes to. <gasps> That's not what this is about! The whole point of us winning was so no one would have to die anymore! Uh, Don't you dare take this away from me! When hope leaves a bad taste in your mouth, the only thing worth looking forward to is the spectacular. And like that, the last classroom... Free to face the outside world. All right. So you've decided to stop taking advantage of Komaru Naegi. Is that friendship? Huh? To travel the harsher path. For the sake of protecting your friend. Such beautiful friendship. I truly think it's a splendid thing. For someone like that to say things like friendship or friends. Do you not find it strange? Or even shameful? <laughs> I can't breathe! Friendship! Friends! <laughs> Obviously, friggin' not. How 
you call it my friend? No, you're my friend. What are you doing? Let go. No, I won't. I mean, you made a promise with Biakia, right? You said you won't kill anyone anymore. If you keep your promise, you can be an official member of Future Foundation. That's why you... You just can't. I never thought of... of you or Toko as abnormal, not even one bit. You're just a little strange, that's all. But even so, you are important to me. You and I are friends now, no matter what happens. You're a precious friend and I won't let you do this! You know... <laughs> You're probably wasting your time. I mean, after all, she knows she needs to kill me. Byakuya's life is in danger as long as I am alive. If she breaks the promise we made and lets you escape... I'll stay. If that's how it is. If I stay in the city and go with her. Then it's fine, right? That's right. Hey! You know what the hell you're talking about? You were crying and whining about escaping earlier, remember? You know what? You change your mind? I still want to escape! I'm still scared! Even now, but you feel the same way, don't you? And now, leaving you behind! As expected, you just don't get it. I betrayed you. I betrayed you, you know? No, no you didn't. And you're suffering from guilt, aren't you? If you're hurting, you can tell me. I'm an unreliable, normal girl who can't do anything. But I can at least do normal things, right? And it's normal for a friend to help a friend. I'll stay. No matter how much you say no, I will definitely stay with you, all right? I've decided. Man, so annoying. All that lip service talk that I hate, so damn irritating. Anybody can just say something. In that case, I'm a great detective, an astronaut, a reporter, and a Terra Super Beauty! <sighs> and besides, you have absolutely no idea what I'm really like. What do you mean? There's no way I'd say no. Huh? Rather... <sighs> Thanks.
You're leaving? You, you've got to be kidding! Trap, we're not done! You ain't going nowhere! <laughs> Tell me! Which of us from the old gang's gonna die? Togo! It's okay! Don't worry about me! Just get out of here! Screw that! That's a low blow. <laughs> 